what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so i've been wanting to talk about this since i've heard the rumors that uh rhea ripley and charlotte flair are supposed to be main eventing night one at this year's wrestlemania for the smackdown title and i gotta be honest here this has nothing to do with them being women or anything like that i don't want people to push that narrative because i think that's hella cringe i'm all for women main eventing a wrestlemania if it makes sense this is one of those times i don't think it makes sense if the rumors are true i don't think it makes sense and here's the reason why we right now as wrestling fans as wwe fans or you know you know, even if you're an AEW fan or a New Japan Pro Wrestling fan, whatever fan of wrestling you are, there's one thing you can't deny. You may not want to agree. The Bloodline story, the Bloodline saga is the best thing that's going on wrestling television, period. I'm just being honest. It is the storyline that people care about the most. It's the storyline that even if other people are not a big fan of WWE, they can appreciate what's going on with the Bloodline storyline. Because it's something that we haven't seen in quite some time. The last time WWE has produced a great storyline like this, in my opinion, was the Yes Movement. And the Yes Movement, was it took a life of its own. And same thing here. The same thing is happening here. We have an opportunity to see Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn versus the Usos for the Undisputed Tag Team Championships. And we have an opportunity to see that main event night one. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm, I'm not really the biggest historian. I know a few things, a uh, few wrestling facts. But I don't know if there's ever been a WrestleMania that main evented either night you know, or main event in general, the tag titles. That usually doesn't happen. This could be a first time ever and reason why I would be okay with them main, main eventing the show because one, it's about the bloodline. Two, we've been invested in this Sami Zayn storyline and Kevin Owens being involved. Three, this would be a monumental moment if the titles actually changed hands Four, if the titles do change hands, then now there's more story implications on what's going to happen with the bloodline for tomorrow, you know, for the main event, how things are going to play out. There's so many things that's going to be involved in this match. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm sure this match is going to be on night one. Wherever you put this match at, this is probably going to be the most anticipated match of that night. For night one, for sure. They're probably going to put this on night one. It's going to be the most anticipated match. Out of every single match that's on the card, this is the match that fans are going to be so invested in because guess what? They have Sammy in here. They have the dynamic of what's going on with Jay and Jimmy. You got Kevin Owens in here. There are four people that, four people, four wrestlers that people want to see. That's why it should be the main event because at the end of the day, WrestleMania, it's, it, it revolves around the bloodline. It revolves around the tribal chief. He's been main eventing WrestleMania for years now. So it would make sense if his family members are main eventing night one. Because he is a he's can he's a he's control, he's in control of what the family has, you know, going for themselves, supposedly. So I'm all for them doing that. I think it tells a better story. I think you want the crowd to be hyped up for this. Because in my personal opinion, I do think there's gonna be some good matches on night one. I just feel like this is the match that has the most story going in for night one on the bloodline side of thing. And then we obviously know night two for the uh, undisputed Universal WWE Championship. That's going to be just a must see in itself to see how things play out. But I think going with how Sammy is still one of the top baby faces in the company. Kevin Owens is a top baby face by default. People want to see them take down the bloodline i think you gotta go with the overall wrestlemania feel being about the blood will the bloodline fall finally this is the story that they're trying to build will it happen at this year's wrestlemania will the bloodline finally crumble and the only way to really enhance that 
the last two matches you should see, the last match you should see on each night should involve the bloodline. That's just my personal opinion on it. I am all for Charlotte and, and, and Rhea having a great match, placing them in the right position in the card. But you got to really think about it. The fans are going to be there to see Sammy and KO dethrone the Usos. The fans are going to want that. The fans are going to clamber for that. And I think the best way to do it is have them potentially have them leave night one on a real good note, getting them hyped up for night two. That's just my personal opinion. That's how I would book it. I would have the Usos versus Sammy and Kevin Owens for night one as the main event. And then on night two, we have Roman versus Cody. That's just my personal take on it. So comment down below. Let me know. Do you guys feel that the, the tag team championships should be the main event for night one? Do you feel like that match, that feud, should be the main event for night one? Or do you guys feel that maybe Rhea and Charlotte deserve to have that main event spot for night one for themselves? Let me know down below. I want to get y'all thoughts and opinions on it. But uh, I appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel. Road to 150K. And I'm still here on the speed of YouTube Wrestling Champion of the World. And you're in the Clutch World Heavyweight Champion. Appreciate y'all kicking in it with me. See y'all next one. Peace.